purpose of the session is to help you all decide on which college to to choose if you have options if you have choices uh, what should be my uh, choice if i get into both cds and iift um so that is a little tricky one but uh, i would say based on the couple of students that i've spoken to i would say go for iift right now mm -hmm. yeah if you get into both then i think you could you could go for iift okay ma'am got it Thanks i i so guess much. it may be a little more uh, though cds you get a degree from jnu but i think maybe uh, academically iift may be a little more rigorous and are you placement oriented or co yes ma'am i am yeah so then uh, then i think iift may uh, would be a better bet because cds okay. is a very very small batch right so it right, will help right. to be in a place like iift which is uh, more for placements and lots of students are there sitting for placements and you know history of uh, being placement oriented so it may be better right ma'am okay ma'am yeah all right ma'am i have uh, got a call letter from iift plus uh, my name is in the merit list of msc and uh, hyderabad and at the same time i am a du student so i am waiting for the cut offs of dsc as well because so as sir i have got 200 ma'am i don't know whether hmm. what exactly is going to be the trend of cut off but i wanted to try up till third cut off at least hmm. 224 is the current cut off right for dsc yes ma'am yes ma'am okay uh so you'll have to see for dsc i am not uh, i am not sure how how will that pan out but uh, from the options that you mentioned iift msc and uh, ma'am uh, hyderabad ha uh, i would be inclined towards msc right ma'am yeah uh, purely because uh, msc is older than iift so maybe they 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 could be a similar experience in terms of the studies but because it's older so uh, just for the ma economics program because msc is older so i think i would kind of give it a little preference uh, over iift so all of you who are uh, confused between msc and iift uh, my personal opinion so uh, like i said it's based on whatever feedback i have received like somebody may have a different experience so maybe if you have a certain feedback you could also share it with me but based on the feedback that i have received from the students that i have interacted with, with and also my peers who are now recruiting at places so uh, for the ms for the MA economics or particularly profiles which are typically given to economic students MSc is kind of more known than IIFT amongst the placement circles so IIFT would be known for its MBA of obviously and MSc is known for its economics so in that sense i am giving a little more preference to MSc over IIFT right so i think a lot of you had that question so a lot of hands went down right, right? ma'am thank you my pleasure between ashoka and MSc what would you say okay that's tough <laughs> <laughs> that stuff then i am going to be a uh, perhaps a little biased um what is your end objective placement uh, oriented placement oriented hmm. see ashoka again it uh, msc holds a little bit of an advantage because of the vintage because of the fact exactly. that it's older and because companies are going to uh, to msc uh, it has a, a full ecosystem of alumni network and everything going on for it so exactly. in terms of placements only placements uh, maybe msc would be a, a good bet though i think in terms of the teaching quality ashoka is really working very well in okay. terms of the faculty that they have attracted so ashoka mm -hmm. has attracted very good faculty so it will take some time for it to build its name and you know for the fact for the department to gain that much prominence and so on so mm -hmm. in uh, so that is why um, in terms of placements maybe msc has an edge but in terms of faculty and the quality of education i think ashoka mm -hmm. is going to be really good and of course both are not cheap places um, exactly neither is msc have their own name and place yeah 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 so both are a little expensive only so uh, if it's purely placements then perhaps uh, msc msc yeah but the quality of teaching at ashoka is really good so it so is at msc but ashoka is you know trying to establish itself as a world class university so exactly. they are uh, yeah they are really working hard on getting a very very good faculty like i personally know a few of my juniors who are teaching at ashoka a few of my uh, peers teaching at ashoka some of my students also like the very first batch of educators uh -huh. have now you know our teachers at a phd holders and teaching teachers at ashoka so ashoka in terms of faculty may be doing slightly better so ma'am instead of looking at only the placements let's say i'm looking at something 5 years down the lane or 2 years down the lane then choosing ashoka would be better than msc see honestly janvi that time it won't matter whether okay. you're from ashoka or <laughs> yeah. that time it depends what is janvi doing in the <laughs> a company that she's working in how are you yeah. contributing mm -hmm. So sure. that time your college name would not matter. College name mostly matters in terms of your initial getting in into the organization. Uh, Ma'am, another question. So for MSc, the rank I got is seventy three. So do you think will I be able to get uh, financial economics or applied quant? I think so. Because Open are, category. Yeah, because there are so many students, right? So uh, some are, and definitely some of them are going to leave. Like the rank one in MSc is our student only, and she's going to ask her. So okay. So people are going to leave. So uh, you know there possibibility is there. 
that should okay. be Thank you. worked out. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I wanted to ask about the placement scenario at BHU, or is there any at all? Uh, see, BHU, uh, again, um, I have personally not tracked it that much uh, in terms of, you know, making sure, getting in touch with our students and asking how was it. Uh, I only have information that they have put up on their website. So that says it has placements, but uh, but on the ground, uh, what is the scene? I'm not really sure. As I said, it's something that I've uh, unfortunately not tracked. But uh, since BH, I will try to track it now, um, Maybe get in touch with us. Maybe I'll see if we can find students who went to BHU and then, you know, try to connect with them and ask them how the experience was. Uh, you could also, so on the face of it, BHU says that it is able to provide 60 to 70% placements. Uh, that's what they say. And uh, they're able to do like a six, seven lakh uh, package, which could be, which could be uh, you know, the reality also. Um, but since BHU is, BHU is an old department, so it may be getting some placements. Uh, but like I said, exactly what it is, uh, a little difficult for me to say right now. Uh, would it, why, if, you, if it's possible for you, so I, I tell everyone, there is something called, you know, information which is kind of a few years old. And then there's something which is absolutely today. So to, for, for that, it will be best if you can connect with people on LinkedIn who are right now in BHU and informally ask them. Because when I formally ask them, then, you know, there's a tendency to always say very nice things. But informally, if you ask them, they will they will tell you the real picture so as a student if you informally connect with a, with another student and ask them what's you know what's the placement scenario how was the teaching and uh, what were the internships like and so on you'll get a you'll get a fair bit of idea uh, another okay ma'am so ma'am in that case i got a rank for in uh, in the msc examination uh, i should i go for that uh, madras school of economics right yes yeah yeah definitely over bhu na yes ma'am ha uh ha -huh. 100% msc I have just done a college Gumon MSc with one of our students. And uh, she, in fact, said that uh, across the board, whether you are in financial or general or uh, actuarial or uh, environment economics, everybody is securing placements because A, the placements are together. And uh, so, so everybody gets an opportunity. So even if it's a finance profile and you are from environment, but you have studied finance, like you can, along with environment, you can also read a few chapters on, on finance, right? So if you're able to do that, then everybody gets an opportunity to sit and they select students also uh, for a finance profile, even if you are from other courses. So it's not to say that she said only a few companies are there, like a couple of companies are there who are strict about that. Okay, we'll only take students for, from finance. But uh, and there are then there are some companies who are strict about only taking students from environment or only students taking students from a particular course. So it kind of evens out and uh, the placements across the board. So if let's say 80% is the placement, then it's across the board. It's not that it's 100% placement for financial and it's 40% placement for environment. That's not the case. 80% across the board and the student the student if you're at MSc you have the opportunities to sit for all the companies so now it's on you to upgrade yourself and upgrade find out uh, take guidance from seniors that how are the interviews like what are you asked and then prepare yourself accordingly uh, ma'am actually I uh, the specialization at IIT right it's not something that I was uh, really considering so are the placements fully focused on trade and finance only or like you can get into other like, for absolutely. example, see, absolutely. Think, of, just understand this. If a company is coming, and if the company is uh, taking your CV, companies will come for different profiles. And if you think of an economist from an eco economist perspective, companies are coming for data analysis. Companies are coming for uh, data science. So uh, you need to know econometrics, whether whichever college you're going to. You're going to MSc, you're going to IFT, you're going to you're going to ISI. You need to understand time series analysis. You need to understand econometrics. You need to understand coding. So you need to understand coding languages like R and Python and so on. So th there are certain things that you need to know, whichever course you are in, whichever college you are in. Okay. Right. And companies are coming to, uh, for masters and economic students for these. Okay. So uh, it's not going to be, there. Are, uh, it's, it's not going to be limited to whatever is the name of your college or whatever. So oh. people, you know, used to ask me that MA, MSc, me kya farak hai? Um, would an MA degree be a different from an MSc degree? So the answer to that is no. Everybody needs to do econometrics and they need to do the micro macro, they need to do development economics, they need to do Indian economy, whatever are the standard subjects, everybody does that. So there isn't, in our field, there isn't a lot of difference in the name that your course holds. ISI is MSQE, Masters in Quantitative Economics, DSE is an MA economics, and our course structure is very similar. In fact, the course structure at DSE was harder 
with with her with a degree of MA economics, the course structure at DSE was harder than the course structure at ISI MSQE, which mm -hmm. was a deg deg degree uh, de which is a degree in Masters in Science in Quantitative Economics. Sir says that's not true. I'm saying it's true. That's I've debatable. I've seen his syllabus. My syllabus was harder. Okay, ma'am. And what about the placement scenario at uh, IIST? So placement scenario at IFT, uh, again, the information that I have. So I would still en encourage all of you to reach out to peers uh, on LinkedIn because people uh, always tell me the best case scenario, right? And especially if I do it with them on camera, if I'm doing like a, you know, a, a college home on camera, they're always going to share the best case scenario. So if you are very concerned and you have choices that where should I go, then you must reach out to someone on LinkedIn, ask them what is the real thing. As far as I know, they have a decent uh, salary package and they are able to play 70-80% of their students also. So as far as I know, uh, the placements are good. So see, anywhere, if you're in the bottom 10-20%, whether you are a DSC and you're in the bottom 10-20%, you will have a placement problem. So anywhere, if you are in the top, let's say 50%, you will get placed. I wanted to uh, know that uh, in Hyderabad University in MA, I got my rank at 250. So is it like worthwhile to go uh, general? General right. category. 250. So let's say DSE is going to take away 60 of that. Then IGIDR is going to take away another 30. Uh, so that's 90. And then JNU is going to take away. How much is JNU general? How much? How many seats is JNU general? Maybe 50, 60, let's say. So 90, 140. So 140 is taken away by these colleges. And after that, uh, people will leave for Ashoka or SNU or IFT and so on. So uh, with the 256, I'm not, sh I don't know. Maybe you'll get in uh, Hyderabad. Uh, so you'll have to see that. If you get into Hyderabad, take it up. It's a nice place. Uh, Mom, I also got rank 19 Madras School of Economics. So, uh, so, you... so go for Madras then. Okay. So yeah. like, Mom, do you think it will be possible for me to get a seat in MSC? With the rank of, yeah, so they have many courses, right? Uh, they yeah. have five courses. So definitely you will get a seat. Which mm -hmm. course that will uh, that will depend on how many people are taking admission and how many are leaving. Mom, is there any preference for which course is the best at MSC? See, as far as I know, uh, there are, I think, about 18 courses that you have to take at MSC as a master student. And out of those 18 courses, about six to seven is based on the specialization that you uh, that you take. So let's say you you um, you take environment or you take finance or you take whatever. Uh, that's going to be the difference. So let's say about seven out of 19, right? So um, it's about 30 to 40 percent of your course is going to be different, and the rest is the same. Now your core subjects, like I was telling, uh, I think Shafia, that core subjects everybody does. So everybody will get econometrics one and two. Everybody will get uh, your basic micro macro courses yes, and everybody is going to learn the programming languages so in that sense uh placement wise yeah, you can manage with any course but if you have a strong preference for example if you are someone who's interested in going in the environment field or in the actuaries field then you you should choose that particular course or if it's just placements then any course and is good and you should just then uh, be aware that uh for placements this is what i have to do and do it if so, there's anything extra required do it Otherwise, if you're open, then you can do uh, either course. Okay. Because like what I was told that any small course also, let's say an environment also, there are many companies which are coming to hire only for environment. So something like uh, a sustainability advisor uh, or an advisor who's going to see the impact on the environment on a particular, of a particular operation. So there are new, new type of uh, job profiles, which were not, these are not traditional finance profiles. Right, so you you have a lot of options these days, so you can consider the other courses also at MSc instead uh, instead of the generally core finance. I'm so I'll prefer MSc over uh, has budget. Yeah, placement okay. wise, placement wise, yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, actually, I wanted to ask that I have uh, already secured a seat in Gokhale uh, for the international uh, business economics and finance. And I've got a call from um, IIFT, uh, MSC, Hyderabad, all of that. So I wanted to ask that uh, how is the placements and everything for uh, IDEF course at Gokhale? And should I go for it or should I uh, go for IIFT or MSC if I get a chance? Um, so my reviews of Gokhale are mixed. Um, some people say it's nice, some people say it's not. So Gokhale has mixed reviews. So if you're getting a chance to go at another place, that's going to be more sure shot. Uh, than go clear. Uh, okay, ma'am. And at MSC, my rank, uh, like general, obviously, it's uh, 136. So 
do you think i stand a chance in any course or so like i said some course you will get an admission which course i that i don't know that depends on who is taking admission and what but uh, i think you can prefer it over gip okay and what about iift iift you will suggest uh, like it's better than gopi right yeah i would suggest it because like i said i have mixed reviews some yeah. people say nice some people say not nice so um, it could be better than gip i think okay thank you ma'am okay sau ift or jmi jmi i'm assuming is jamia milia islamia i think ift afros between sau ift and jmi is placement same across all courses of gip yes akash that's what i have been told that placements uh, are happen together for uh, all of gip ift versus hyderabad and anya um what is the criteria that we we should look at when we are doing ift versus hyderabad placements okay because of the ift brand name ift may be slightly better so ift because of its mba program may be slightly better than hyderabad i have to delhi or i have to calcutta uh i think similar i don't think it's going to be different for spot admissions in dse you see your dashboard of the dse do you dashboard that you have there's an option of spot admission so you have to select that option uh when it becomes live so just go keep going over your portal dashboard every day it's going to be a long long process it's not going to happen today because dse has just announced announced its first list so first list second list third list and then spot admission so it's going to be it's going to take a while but uh, i don't know when they will then they will open it up for you to apply for some spot admission like are you interested in dse spot admission so as far as i had read their prospectus just go over the prospectus they mentioned everything there uh, they will open that option up whenever uh, in due course of time or when i don't know when do they do that but they open that option up and then you have to select that that you are looking at spot admission uh, gip ma versus M msc uh, so mitali uh, in gip earlier the ma program was a little inferior to the msc program because ma program used to be in marathi okay now they've made the ma also in english and that they did i think only either this year or last year so after they have changed the program uh, to the medium instruction to be only english so after that uh, so that so that is why the ma program used to as i said not be good if you have an option of msc stick to msc in gip 231 yes jnu seems doable in 231 because of ds dse is only 244 and uh, and they are going to come out with their second list also so i think the jnu list will close way before way beyond 230 so i think 230 in jnu should be good so i think again between iit roorkee and msc i would prefer msc uh, because roorkee new again the same thing new program less number of students so msc may be better in the overall culture and overall placements is there anyone who is planning to take all these entrances again next year maybe take cuet again or maybe take iit again or something right so i have two suggestions for you guys uh, who are planning to sit for the entrances again a that uh, you may or may not have secured a great college this year but my personal suggestion would be to um, enroll in whatever college you are getting this year okay um, maybe it's not a college of your choice maybe you you may think i didn't i never wanted to go to this program whatever it may be but i would still suggest that take admission somewhere okay so i would not suggest not taking admission anywhere i would suggest taking admission that's my personal opinion that i would suggest take admission firstly secondly once you are in the program you will know whether the program is good or not so suppose you take into jamia or some sau or somewhere okay and uh, a after going there you may like the program you may not like the program if you like the program great you can continue if you don't like the program you still have the option of sitting for masters again right and you would have still done some studies throughout the year because you were a student at uh, uh, whichever some college so something you would have learned and studied so you are only going to gain you are not going to lose by not sitting uh, by uh, uh, taking admission this year yes you will have to pay some fees so you can choose a, an option which is not very expensive but i would still suggest sitting uh, somewhere and that is the that is my first suggestion Thank you.